good day, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. It's Amy, it's Vicky, it's Matthew. We're back today because Matthew is, sorry about the flies, a pretty decent tarot card reader. So Amy and I are gonna get our tarot cards read today. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. So I don't do the traditional spread like, you know, they're taught, people are taught, or a lot of people do it for a couple of reasons. For one, when they get a card that's upside down, they consider that the negative and they, they have a negative interpretation of the card, but I don't consider that there is any negative in this world. I think you learn from, if you learn, then it's positive. Even if, it, if my leg gets cut off tomorrow, I'm gonna go get a wooden peg leg and put a patch on my eye and be the coolest pirate you ever saw. You know? <laughs> so I will make the best out of it. And if you can apply that to everything in life, there is no negative. So I don't do negative interpretation of the card. And, and there'll be these big long spreads, you know, 25 cards or whatever. And you ask the questions, and then by the time you get to the eighth question, you know, all the cards are used up. So you, you know, so then it's like the first question has, you know, the opportunity to have all these cards read, but then the last question's only got half the deck left. So that never made sense to me. So then, because then the, you know, the, the, the degree to which it's got, gonna be accurate is gonna, you know, the, the, where you ask the question is gonna be, it's gonna affect, you know, how, much uh, opportunity you have to get a good answer. So I just, I pull six cards. I do um, two, two, and two, and I do right, left, passive, aggressive, or male, female, or yin, yang, or whatever, and then there's a linear progression from past, present, future, or past to present to present, or greater past to lesser past to present, or whatever, you know, it goes like this. So, and then, and then we'll ask the question, and then when we're done, we shuffle it up and do it again. So each question has the same opportunity, and you don't have only three cards left because you just did this big spread. Yeah. And um, so now, the other thing is, is try not to ask yes or no questions, because you, you, if you wanted to do a yes or no answer, you just use a pendulum, because that's all you have. You have yes or no, and then you turn the card and see if it you know, you can check it real easy. These cards are trying to get a little more detail. Like, like, you know, we can do yes or no questions, but we have to fashion the question in a way, like how are you gonna get an answer out of, out of the cards? You know, like, like let's say I, you wanted to know if you were gonna get a job. So how would you ask that without a yes or no question? Well, you would say, how am I gonna feel about the results of my application? And if, the, if it's all joyous and happy, then you got the job. If it's all kind of, you know, Said or you know, then you didn't get the job. So that's how we get the yes or no answer without asking a yes or no question. So with that said, I like to do a mystery read at first where you don't ask anything, let the universe kind of tell you what it wants to tell you. And by the way, we're not channeling spirits. Yeah. I don't I'm not down with that at all. I think they're all idiots. They're you know and um, this is synchronicity and and um, your intuition and you know, the astrology and numerology and the like, it's a tool for you to kind of reinforce what you already know. And I don't want you to believe or not believe anything, just kind of take it in and if it feels right and one day you experience something or, you know, then it's yours, then it's something that means something to you. Now the whole point of knowing something in the future is to, if you can't change an undesirable outcome, then what's the point of knowing what the answer is? So, the whole point is to find out if, you know, if something's not the way your will isn't, isn't being represented here and to change it before it happens. So even if you get what some people might call a negative, you know, you're not going to win the lotto like you thought you were, well, maybe you just need to, you know, you know, make your numbers pick different set of numbers or something. So you might win it the next time, you know, and that's the goal. So, so. With that said, let's just do a thing and uh, spread here and let's see what the universe wants to tell you. And then we can go from there with more detail. Now it's real important that I get a real good even spread here. Now, when we do these and you do ask questions, um, like, if it's something super personal that you don't even want me to know, you don't have to, you can think it, you know, and you don't have to ask it. 
Um, but if you if we do that, then you kind of have to interpret the cards because I don't know what you're wanting to know or whatever, or I can interpret them as best I know or whatever. But they can still be very accurate that way. So um, you know, and and just kind of um, you know, careful what you ask for. If you don't want to know something, you know. Well, um, there seems to be, um, th there's, uh, the, the page of wands, the two of wands, the three of wands are kind of like travel cards. Like the, the page of wands, you're kind of like just thinking about it. The two of wands are, you kind of really, you know, you're, you're, you're actually starting to make some plans. And then the three of wands would be like, you've got the plane ticket or something, you know, so. So this card seems to represent travel, or the, the thought of it, or the, kind of like um, the very beginning stages of maybe thinking about um, moving or traveling, and um, it seems to be due to some sort of event that was, um, you know, I guess pretty dramatic. I mean, there's um, uh, the, the, the picture here is a guy with ten swords in his back, but then there's light over here on the horizon, like there's hope. It's not like you know, like the end of the world, but it's something pretty dramatic. Um, and now this could be more than likely there's something that already happened or something that is happening or um, something towards your past and that you're, you, you've kind of, um, as a result, there's been like some struggle and frustration, you know, like brandishing of wands but no bloodshed. And, um, and you are kind of maybe not, um, maybe you're being a little naive to some things. You're kind of, hopping along and not really paying attention to the pitfalls that could be before you. Um, um, however, it seems like that naivety maybe seems, it kind of works out for you in a way because, you know, sometimes people who just don't believe that bad things are going to happen to them, like America just can't believe bad things will ever happen to America. I mean, nothing ever does really, you know, and the same seems to be with you because things are going to, you know, like whatever happened or whatever is happening is, you know, it's pretty dramatic and upsetting, but it's all going to really work out with this Ten of um, Cups, which is like a family setting of kids and a couple embracing. And, and then the fact that this friendship card is next to it. Now, this is typically a plutonic uh, thing here, um, but it's a real close friendship, you know. And, and it could be sexual, but, but usually you get the lover's card if it's going to be sexual. So there, it, it, it seems like, um, you know... Whatever happened over here is, is not, you're not, it's not a happy thing. And you, you, it, at the very least, you just want to get the hell away from whatever's unhappiness or, uh, uh, you know, tragedy or whatever went wrong. And you're not really knowing how you're going to do that. And you didn't really plan that much. But luckily enough, you, you did make the right moves in some way. And it's going to work out very well for you. And, and if there's going to be a friend or some really close relationship that's really going to help help quite a bit and, and make things right and, and you know this ten of cups is as good as it gets I mean that's like um, cup, cups are like your cup flow up over it or your cups are spilling down not down well this represents like ten is the maximum amount of cups you could have like the nine of cups the theme of the nine of cups is nothing to restrict joy at this time so ten of cups is even better than that you know it's like this is a real happy setting here this is a really good friendship now this is the thing, that this hermit card is representative of somebody who has reached a point in their life where they realize that, okay, they're not getting younger, they're not old yet, but they're, but life is, doesn't last forever. And you got to kind of, instead of, you know, just hopping along and being, you know, footloose and fancy free, you better start paying attention to where you're going because, you know, you're on the next wave of life and, and, and you, you typically carry your load a little bit to you you're, you can make you can organize things a lot better like this is a person who can't see where they're going so much and they got way too much on their plate like you got to streamline and not be be more like specific about what you want in life and not be like you know like sometimes when there's so many options and you don't really pick one it's like having no options it's not much different so this is 
just this is if this is the past, this is the present, this or this is the present and towards the future. This is quite a bit more in the future, but that's what it's trying to tell you. It's not as in the future as you may think. And you, this is the person who kind of got to look at where they're going, what they're doing, and start preparing because it's going to make a big difference in where your life goes in the next few years. You know, to 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 kind of you know work those things out now, and and you need to change. You know, lighten your load, and don't um, you know kind of start paying attention to what you're doing and, and really focusing in on. On the, on the idea that, right, you know, none of us live forever, and, you know, we're going, you're, you're in the kind of the next stage where you're not a kid anymore, but you're not really ready to be an old person yet either, so figure out what you want, this is what I'm going to do to get it, and, and it'll be so. I, all I want to do is help people and, and be just a tool that you can learn and make your life better. I don't ever want to make anybody's life more difficult or worse or sad or troubling or um, you said that's a funny card what well, it's funny today because it, it flipped over on her when i was doing her read and now it just flipped over on yours the same card yeah wow Chariot. that is crazy yeah it is and and even more crazy is speaking to what i was speaking to so here we go but the chariot is pulling in two different directions and it's basically being pulled one way and being pulled another way and you got to reel it in and kind of get control of the reins and figure out where you're going, figure out where you want to go and make a decision. It doesn't suggest which is the right or which is the wrong, it's just suggesting that you gotta make a decision. And I don't, that really wasn't, that was a card that I didn't pull, it kind of flipped up so it you It was can meant to happen. Sometimes you can look at it that way and a lot of times it is. Sometimes it'll flip up very aggressively like, it, you know, or it could just be, well, it's not, because you both have clipped up on both of you, so... You're both very smart people, obviously. You're both, um... You're, you're very much equal in, the, in that you're... I mean, you're... I don't know what you do, but apparently it's... You're, you're very, maybe, spiritually knowledged, uh, knowledgeable or something, and you are, you know, good at what you do, your field or whatever. And, and um, so basically, I, there's... Um, you know, somebody's got to move, make a change, or do something, and get get away from something, or whatever needs to be a commitment or a, something, and, and things are going to be really good. Maybe it's both of you moving or getting, I don't know, but um, there's, you know, seems to be some thing of travel involved. Maybe it's vacationing, I don't know, but, um, and, um, you know, life's going to change for the better, continue being good if that's the case but um it's really emphasizing that like really there's something that and it's you know you'll have to figure out what the decision is but anyways let's wipe that from our minds and let's just go with um something fresh here um back. Um, so, you say you were a musician, right? And, um, I mean, um, what are you doing musically? Anything? Are you pursuing your a career in it? or? No, not anymore. I went, right. to, I went to school for it, but uh, I, I just play for fun now. Okay, well, um, but, you are, but you are becoming um, somewhat of a, a popular podcast. Vlog, yeah. yeah. Because there's, I mean, this is the star card right here. And um, this is what's called the greedy king, and it's not to be in, in, have the negative connotation that it sounds like. This is just money, you know. And this is this is I mean this is a, a very like I think there's some really big things coming your way. You really? Know? Yeah, like um, with your blog maybe or whatever. Like there's serious star power and and money, essentially. So I think um I think that um, if it's not your music or your drums. Or whatever you said, guitar. Then it's probably your podcast or something else. You'll have to figure out what that is. But this right here, I mean, this is these, and it really matters what card is next to the card. You know, to determine okay. what what something means. Like like if you were to get the death card, for example, but it was next to um, you know some like the 
change, you know, judgment or something, or you becoming something new, it, it would not be death like dead. It would be like your whole thing is changing. You know, right. This could be a positive thing. Changing career, maybe. So in this case, the fact that you've got the money card, this is the king. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pentacles are money cards, and this is the king of that. You know, this is the main guy. This is the money guy. This is the guy that, you know, finances everybody else. You know, so, and and this is speaking to you. You know, so, and next to the star card, that's a powerful, very, you know, and and then I got for her. Then the high priestess, I got like twice now because I just did a quick read and got it. And and um, so that's what I'm saying. There, maybe there's something that you are offering that you're going to offer that's, you know, that you guys come together maybe spiritually or something. But there's a lot of, there's like a real powerful unit. Even just if friends or just as acquaintances or, or, or maybe if somebody, you work together on something, it's a strong, it starts off like a real strong, powerful thing. Amy and I, you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of the fact that you know, I mean, I've already been given the knowledge that you guys were were uh, working together, a couple or something or something at some level. I knew this, but also the fact that, you know, um, I um, when I just did this quick read, I do I do that sometimes where I want to know something real quick, you know, like and and this is the knight in shining armor, one who offers marriage and and uh, the person who sweeps somebody off their feet. So um, and. Um, uh, you know, probably there's, you know, there, there's always like, people have other things going on in life too. And when, when there's something new or whatever, there's always a lot of like, like you gotta have to, you know, you know, divide up the pie and figure out, you know, who's gonna get this part, who's gonna get that right. part, and who's gonna not get any part, you know, and, and, and so, you know, this is the Knight of Wands, which is somebody who kind of comes in and stirs up the pot in a good way and moves on. Like, they kind of, like, make things, like, exciting and, and, and kind of, like, maybe somebody is getting a little boring or something and, and stirs it up and shakes it up and gets that person, kicks them in the pants. And, you know, women are great at that. They'll, they take... You know, somebody to give them a haircut, to get their, you know, dress them up nice and get them ready to go, you know, get other chicks hitting on them and stuff, you know. <laughs> but, but now this is, this is interesting because she got the same card, the, the struggle and frustration and no bloodshed. Can you show it to me again? Yeah, this is, um, you know, like, um, you know, something that's kind of like, you know, a little frustrating or a little struggle, but but there, you know, a lot of brandishing of wands, but no bloodshed is what it says. And they, it's dramatic to prove a point. So it's like nothing comes easy in life, but particularly um, you guys have a similar thing happening here. If not that it's between you two even, I don't know, but it's if not between you two, it's definitely similar things in life where maybe um, you got haters out there or maybe people aren't real happy about, you know, things that are going on and you got to kind of like, you know, you gotta, you gotta pick your battles wisely, but you definitely gotta like, you know, you're gonna have to make some hard decisions and people aren't gonna like it and whatever, you know, that kind of thing. Or you, or make some hard decisions in your life um, and people aren't gonna, you know, like whatever decisions you make. And ultimately, I guess, it's leading to this, this, you know, this, um, this prize, uh, individual now whether that's like somebody who's gonna be your significant other or whether it's somebody who's gonna help you become a star or I don't know I mean but ultimately this okay this is ten the theme of this card is tension at least and then this is the ace of cups which is like a plus like a gift from heaven you know a financial gift uh, whatever it is you're you're wanting you're lacking if 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 your thing is you're tired of not having money then this is like inheritance or some money gift if your thing is you're tired of being lonely and alone then this is like you know you're being gifted with with some love in your life or if you want to you know have family or whatever it is that you, whatever fills your cup is is being offered to you here and apparently you know it's been maybe um, something that's been drawing out for a while and it's a long time coming but it's a nice welcome change to where to where whatever was going on here is now being um 
being out, being dealt with. You know, it looks like three swords through a heart. It looks pretty glib, glim. But in actuality, what this is suggesting is that happiness and sorrow or joy and sorrow kind of come from the same place. It's kind of the same, similar emotion. And, um, and so, you know, like when people, when you love somebody, it only ends up tragic because, you know, if you live the rest of your life together, somebody dies first and the other yep. person suffers terribly, you know, so, and that's because you love them. Not because you hate them or you dislike them. So, they, so that's what that means when it's like, you know, kind of like joy and, 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 and sorrow come from the same place. You know, when you love somebody enough, it feels like you get stabbed in your heart, you know? Just because you love them. So, so you can't take this like it's some, you know, this could be like a welcome, a welcome kind of release. And that's why the theme is tension released. Uh, and then at the end of the day, like, because I said, like I said, this past, present, and future, this is exactly where you want this to be. You know, not back here, like the best has already happened. You know? Yeah, right. And, and, you know, now the best is still yet to come. And it gives you something to kind of strive for and look forward to, that, that, that you're just getting started now, because here's the good, that's the, the real good stuff. And, you know, it's not like you're starting at, at zero. You're already, you know, well on your way to, to doing whatever it is you're well on your way to doing. Apparently it's, it's, you know, you're, I don't, maybe you don't know quite, maybe you don't even know yourself how much, you know, like maybe, you know, maybe this internet thing is bigger than you even think. You know, I don't know. But basically, you know, that's about as good of a combination as you could get. And then when you follow it up with this, you're, you're golden. But there's a little bit in between that's, you know, you're going to have to sort out, figure out what, you know, who is worthy of this new phase in your life and who's not. Basically. Thank you, man. And they're that not going to like it. Really interesting. They're, yeah, they're going to want to hang on, you, you know, or whatever. And Dude, you, thank you. That was really interesting. Yeah. What did you think? Cool, awesome. So this is really cool. You just told me that um, you have an email address, and if someone would be interested in you doing their tarot card reading, you're up for that. You've really only done Vicky for a handful of years, right. you, you know, as a friend, right. but. Anybody that watches this that wants to contact you, what would you, what email would you like to give out? Because you also have a book that you put out we, that we mentioned in the video yesterday. If they want to get your book, maybe. Sure, sure. Any of that, you know, I'm happy to, um, you know, to to do what I can, even to, um, you know, like if, like what I would think would be cool is if if you get a tarot reading from me and it and it and you like it and you get something from it, you want to send some money. Fine. If you don't, don't. You know, yeah. give what you feel is fair. I can't tell you what that amount should be. I mean, uh, yeah, donation based. Yeah, so you give a donation based on on whether you feel like you got some out of it. And you know, I always tell people if, if you don't believe in this sort of thing or don't trust it or whatever, then ask me questions that you only know the answer to. Test it. Yeah. You know, and and you know, some that you absolutely know. I can't read somewhere or look up that only you know, and find out. What's your email? email? How can they is, contact um, you? It's uh, madness31, like madness, it's M-A-T-T-N-E-S-S, 31, at gmail.com. I'll put that right underneath so people can see it as you're saying it. Great. Thank Great. you, Matthew. Yeah, thank this you. was really cool. Thank you.